Everyone calls me Daya, occasionally big head because I have a substantially large sized head for my body, okay. What when it comes to Disney, they honestly rule the entertainment world, whether you realize it or not. And if you don't realize it, wake up. And when it comes to their brand via Disney Channel and Disney XD and other things that have their name, they're always up for getting the best and brightest of young stars to perform on their shows. This includes the now mega popular Zendaya, who went from a Disney Channel star to a star of Marvel movies, HBO shows, and upcoming mega blockbusters like Dune. But given her reach now, why did she leave Disney in the first place? Allow us to show you seven reasons why Zendaya left Disney. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But before that, a simpler reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Number seven her early years at Disney. So let's start off with the beginning. And in this particular beginning, we talk about her rise to fame within the Disney Channel family. When she started off her career as a model and was in various commercials and ads, she eventually got her start in acting via the Disney Channel show Shake It Up, alongside Bella Thorne, more on her later. The show was one of the biggest premieres in the history of Disney Channel, which is saying something when you think about it. Because of that fame, she was able to do music on her own and with other members of the Shake It Up cast, like with Bella Thorne. Through the success of the show, Zendaya appeared on various other Disney Channel shows, like Good Luck Charlie, as well as being the star role in the Disney Channel original movie Frenemies in 2012. She was even selected to be the youngest contestant, at the time, to do Dancing with the Stars. She was runner-up, which is very impressive. But behind the scenes, things weren't as kosher as you might have hoped. Apparently, Zendaya was not in a good place mentally because she didn't get along with her co-star from Shake It Up, Bella Thorne. Mainly because Disney Channel was basically pitting them against one another to boost up their stock. And that left a bad taste in her mouth. Though this would eventually change and they became good friends. And she wouldn't have to worry about competing with Bella anymore because Disney Channel decided to go and give Zendaya her own show. Number 6. KC Undercover it was almost inevitable that she was going to get her own show on Disney Channel, given her natural beauty and talent behind the camera. The only question was, what was that show going to be? The answer was Totally Awesome Katie, or at least that's what the pilot was supposed to be. But then Zendaya used her mojo to help change things up and Casey Undercover was born. Set in Washington, DC, the series followed Casey Cooper, a high school math genius, who gets recruited by her parents after she discovers that they are secretly undercover spies working for an agency called The Organization. Her brother tries to help, but he feels left out and eventually joins the team, and his desire leads his mother and father to get a new robot child. Each episode centers on Casey and her family as they contend with common familial issues while also performing missions to save the country, with a recurring storyline involving thwarting the plans of a criminal organization. So yeah, very Disney-esque. The show was very popular and lasted three seasons on the network, which is about the shelf life of a modern Disney show, to be honest. The popularity of the show and Zendaya led to her getting even more fame and attention, which is where her departure started. Number five, her reasons for leaving. The true news of Zendaya's departure from Disney came when it was announced that Casey Undercover was going to be ending after its third season. Zendaya spoke out about this. I'm growing up and there's a lot of other things I want to do in my career. Indeed, and we'll get to that, but she also noted that she kind of had unfinished business in the realm of Disney that she needed to complete and was able to do via her show. When I left Disney, there weren't any families of color on the channel, she said. I thought that was a big reason why I wanted to come back. I think I've successfully made a show that not only allows for representation, but sees girls in a powerful and strong position. Anyone who really knows Zendaya knows that this is perfectly her. She has always been someone who pushes things forward and tries to get more representation in the world of Hollywood. And like she said, she had things she wanted to do and she couldn't stay with Disney Channel forever, for various reasons. Number four, the Disney mark. Here's the thing. While Disney is a major brand, when it comes to their stars on their channel, things go wrong, a lot. Speaking in the career sense, if someone is associated with Disney Channel and certain other Disney properties too much, then they can be marked as a Disney star and nothing else. 
This is a common thing with child and teen stars across multiple networks, but Disney seems to have it happen a lot recently. There's Demi Lovato, who left her popular show because of health issues, and was subsequently made fun of for it on The Replacement Show. There's the Sprouse Twins, who had one of their most popular series ever and yet weren't always treated the best. There's Miley Cyrus, and we all know what happened to her. Then there's her co-star Bella Thorne, who set the world on fire earlier in 2020 when she joined the provocative site OnlyFans and promised equally provocative photos that led to her getting millions and causing changes on the site. We'll leave it there. And there are a lot of other stars that have had things happen to them like this. So as such, you can see why Zendaya was more than happy to leave after Casey Undercover, because she knew she could go and get other roles, better roles, and more impactful roles than what she could get on Disney Channel. Which brings us to… Number 3. There's more out there than Disney. The irony of this statement is rich, of course, because Zendaya was later cast as Michelle, aka MJ, in the Marvel Studios Spider-Man films, in which she was instantly beloved in that role. And she will indeed be in Spider-Man 3, but she's done a lot more than that. Look at her role in HBO series Euphoria. That show is very un-Disney in its premise, its scenes, its characters, and so on. But not only did she do the part, she won an Emmy for it. The youngest actress to ever win an Emmy, no less. If she had stayed under the Disney banner, there would be no way she gets this role because it doesn't fit their brand. And that's the thing. While Disney has a lot of power and a lot of sway and influence, they aren't the end-all be-all. Remember the Sprouse Brothers? Well, both left the Disney Channel and Cole went on to be in Riverdale, the hit CW show, another very un-Disney show. Zendaya did what she did because she wanted to test herself in ways that Disney wouldn't. And whether they want to admit it or not, Disney is rigid in what they do with their cast and the opportunities they give them. So leaving was her best option. Number 2. She's always been independent. There's a lot of reasons that people like Zendaya, and one of the biggest ones is that she's brutally honest and never afraid to be herself when on camera doing an interview, or just talking about her life. For someone like her, Disney was a nice thing, but it wasn't all that she wanted to be, and she could tell the restrictions were going to hold her back. After she left Disney, she went and made sure that she and no one else had control over her career. She was very selective in the roles she chose and which ones she turned down. This is what led to her doing Euphoria and the upcoming Dune movie. That got delayed a year, but it's still coming, and other parts that she's doing and has done. She wants to do certain things beyond acting too, like modeling, and she really loves it. She likes being able to guide her life and she couldn't do that with Disney as her overlord. Number 1. A role model for future stars? It's always stated that if you're a star on Disney Channel, you have a future in the business. But with Zendaya, among others of course, there's now a blueprint that you can start out on the channel but leave and go do bigger and better things. Zendaya is one of the best young talents out there who has already won awards, critical acclaim, helped lead movies, and so on. So for all of you thinking of joining Disney, go ahead and do so, but make sure you're doing what's right for you and not just what's right for them. So what do you think? What do you think of these reasons as to why Zendaya left Disney, for the most part, to go and do her own thing in Hollywood and beyond? Were you surprised by some of the behind the scenes things that drove Zendaya to and from Disney? Do you understand why she left? Do you think that she's a bigger and better star now than she would have been if she stayed a Disney Channel girl? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.